And welcome back to Nay Star League for your ACU Varsity Rocket League team. Joseph D. Chop alongside Bear. And here we have Abilene Christian facing off against St. Edwards in the play-ins. It's a win-to-go-home situation for both teams. Think of it as the playoffs in any other sport. Bear, what are you looking forward to in tonight's matchup? Well, you know, this is a familiar opponent. Uh, we played them two weeks ago. Uh, it was it was a, I'd say, a close match. We, we got swept 3-0. Um, however, most of the, most of the games were fairly close. Um, uh, the points for this game, uh, we need, we need to create chances. Uh, last game or last time we played them, we didn't create enough chances. We made, uh, we capitalized off of their mistakes. Um, but that's just not going to cut it. We're going to need to do that, but we're also going to need to rotate through, uh, get some demos on the offensive zone or in the offensive zone. And just put balls on net, like make them make saves and take good shots. But we'll see if we can do that. Game one, best of five, uh, starting go. out here. Five minutes of uh, play time. Amarok's going to win the kickoff. Wall's going to follow it up. Open net, easy goal. Uh, good start here. <laughs> hey, I mean, four seconds. I mean, what can you say? Just an awesome start right there from Wall. Got a great analysis right there, Walker. And to come out of the gate right here against the St. Edwards team that is very competitive and very good. What a great start. Let's see if we can keep it going. Four seconds in. Still plenty of time left to play. Prime's going to lose that kickoff. Good bump there by Wall. Amarok now taking it up. Going for a bump. Can't quite get it. Moist Tuna will get the touch out. Prime with a shot off the post. And Amarok's there to finish it. <laughs> and ACU's coming out firing tonight. Just guns blazing right now. Prime to Amarok right here. His first... Nace playing right now. Amarok is a freshman and new addition to the team. I mean, what a start. This is what you want to see against a team like St. Edwards. Yeah, this is this great start from ACU. Let's hope they can keep it up as Mala's going to dump it down. Prime's going to take control, get it over Dino. Mala now back out to the middle. Wall up. Touch over the side. Prime's going to be there. He's going to dump it into the corner. He's going to clear it out by Mala. Amarok now high off the backboard. Dino's up. Can't get a touch. Two ACU players there can't get a touch either. Mala now taking control. Wall's last man back. He gets up. He makes the save. Easy for him. Now dealing with Moist Tuna. He's going to throw it towards Ned. Dino with a touch over to the side. Little double commit pinch there from SEU. Works out, but it falls to Wall. Wall's going to get deleted by Dino. Mala sort of throws the ball away. Amarok, good follow, gets a 50 against Moist Tuna. Prime with another 50 against Dino. Amarok now looking for Prime. Prime zero boost. Oh. Can't quite get it. And SEU will take control into the ACU half. Wall. Pretty solid start. Yeah, Wall's playing some good defense for right now. And unfortunately, commentator's curse is kicking in. I'm knocking on all of the wood because, <laughs> yeah, right, right as I said, uh, pretty good start. <laughs> it just goes to show you how fast-paced Rocky League is. Anything can happen in any given moment any single second how will acu respond because st edwards can really put the pressure on their heels let me just say this has been the longest uh, minute 20 seconds of my life because it feels like we've been in this game for a lot longer than we have uh, and still a lot left to play three minutes 33 seconds remaining and seu is starting to pick up speed acu we're gonna need to keep keep our momentum from early on uh, or get that get that back honestly um Right now, Amarok doing just that good with a great 50. Nice. SEU just making a lot of mistakes right now early in the game in this first game of a best of five series. Uh, Dino tries to cut it inside. Amarok, uh, none the wiser, <laughs> just 50s them right into the bottom corner of the net. 3-1. And, and he capitalizes on those errors, and that's something ACU is going to have to take advantage of. It definitely feels like a playoff game, but it's not over yet. Game number one, ACU, 3-1 lead. Yeah, still early. Early times here for ACU and SEU um, can't base everything off of the first game and we still have plenty of that left to play as I've said before three minutes five seconds prime trying to attack from above can't quite get it Mala on the ball gets it past Amarok he's gonna take it up the wall try to get past wall wall off the ceiling a bit awkward and Mala's actually gonna get the touch out walls gonna 50 dino prime beat out by moist tuna now dino beating Amarok Wall now, just banging it downfield. Moist Tuna gonna try to take control. He's gonna fake the touch, 
gets 50 by Prime. Mala now over the Moist Tuna. Emrox there to cut it out. And the ball's out. Wall with a bit of a missed touch, but it's going to turn into a little bit of a back pass. Uh, Prime trying to take control. Gets bumped out by Dino. Mala up. Tries to double. Can't quite. Emrox there. Moist Tuna now off the sidewall. SEU starting to put on the pressure, but Wall's there to clear it out and allow his team to get boost. Now Wall off the ceiling. There's a chance here. Can't quite get oh, it. Man. Good chance, though, off Good the look. ceiling and off the wall. Moist Tuna bumped out by Prime. With a shot, Emmerich with the save. Nice save right there from Emmerich. Yeah, Mala now. Just trying to throw it into the backboard. Dino meets the ball in the midfield. Wall and Moist both miss. Prime, he's got Amarok down the field, but Mala's going to cut that out. It's going to come to the middle of the field. No ACU players there, but Prime with 50. And Wall will take over, dumping it into the St. Edwards corner. Sort of faking, trying to make Dino uh, weird on the wall. Can't quite do it. Dino's going to 50 against Prime. Prime's going to win it, though. Mala with a touch straight up in the air. It's going to hit off the ceiling. Wall with another 50. It's going to fall to Mala. Mala now. Can't get the flick. Amarok's there. It turns into a pass. Dino can't put it in. Amarok's going to recover and take it out. And double demo from Moist Tuna, but now SEU, St. Edwards, is bumping into each other. And any kind of any kind of momentum that they may have gained from those demos just fell apart right there in the midfield. And they're going to need every little bit of that here with a minute remaining down by two. Yeah, while trying to take control of it. Can't quite get it. Gets demoed in the process. Mala up. It's going to hit the corner and bounce up. Wall's going to try to follow. It's a touch out. Moist Tuna there to keep it in. Still a two-goal lead for ACU here. 45 seconds to play. Uh, shot from Dino. Emrock's up early. Gets the touch. Wall will follow and clean up. Now slowing it down. Just wasting time. Yep. This wall picking apart this defense. Or attempting to. Moist Tuna beat out by Emrock. Dino's going to clear. And Prime should be there. He misses. Wall can't quite get the stop. That's going to be an easy, easy passing play for St. Edwards. Just firing the lasers right there from Mala for St. Edwards. 25 seconds remaining, down by one. Anything can happen. If you're ACU right now, you, I mean, you really just got to tighten up. You would hate to lose this game in these type of circumstances. Let's see what happens right now. Yeah, ACU, ACU needs to just stick to their guns, uh, stay on their, roti their defensive rotation. Oh. St. Edwards is going all out. That's going to be an open net. And that should do it for this game. I don't want to curse anything, but two goal lead, 14 seconds. Uh, St. Edwards can come back with a uh, with two kickoff goals, yeah. but as long as ACU can win the kickoff and uh, drain the clock down to about three three seconds is usually the time it takes to get the ball into the net. Oh, let's uh, see. We'll be fine. Prime just putting on the pressure here, staying in the corner, staying with it, just monkeying around right now. Forcing St. Edwards into some weird positions. Early challenges here from ACU, and that's what you'd like to see in games like this. That's going to do it as well. A 4-2 uh, win. Save for any goals that come after I said that, but none will. <laughs> ACU takes that's game one. Knocking on yeah, the wood. Yeah, knocking all the wood. We've got surrounded by tables here. Um, good first game. Good <laughs> first game. Another game where everyone on ACU's roster scores at least one goal. I mean, they looked great out there, Bear. I mean, on both ends, they looked aggressive. And it felt like a playoff game. I'm new to Rocky League. I'm new to eSports. But I could feel the intensity. And I know you're very aware of how this feels. I mean, you've been in this situation time and time again. But hopefully they keep the momentum going. Because can you imagine a 2-0 series lead against St. Edwards? What treat that would be but they have to know that st edwards is gonna fight back and they're gonna fight back hard man i wasn't nervous for this series until <laughs> now now that we've taken a 1-0 lead in this best of five we need two more two more to move on and knock out st edwards um and st edwards is a powerhouse oh yeah they are a powerhouse for sure and it's that one game at a time mentality here in game number two yeah acu uh, Hopefully they can keep it together. St. Edwards coming out strong, though, with the passing plays. That's what they were missing that last game. That's what ACU needs to cut out. Because passing is going to be the greatest thing. Because these two teams are elite teams, and when they can get each other involved, it's hard to stop. But like you said, Bear, if ACU can kind of limit those set plays, they will be in good position defensively. Yeah, so a rough start here for ACU. Uh, hopefully they can pull it back. That one's going to nice. fall in the corner. Prime with a banger from midfield. Just, 
I don't know what St. Edward's was thinking right there. I guess they thought it was over, but they just sort of gave up on it. <laughs> nice long shot from Prime right there. Last week against Blinn, I was telling Sean that Prime has re really been practicing those long shots. Here we go, putting it into game, tied at one. Yeah. Prime now off the wall, going to look for the pass, turn into shot pass. <laughs> it is a pass to Wall, who puts it in, 2-1. 18 seconds in. This game is moving so slow. 18 <laughs> seconds, three goals total. Damn. I mean, we should expect maybe another goal or two in the next couple seconds, and it hasn't even been a minute of gameplay. Have you ever heard of defense? Because I have. <laughs> this has been all offense for both teams this series. Uh, it's just, man, it's brutal out there. The best defense for both teams has been their offense, and both offenses have been dynamic. See who can get a stop first or continue going to scoring run. See, San Edwards still looking for those passing plays. Do they don't quite connect on that one. Prime unable to get back. I don't don't really know what happened there. Uh, just a bit of miscommunication from the ACU defense. Got a little too spread out. Uh, Wall as third man. Just I guess he thought Prime was back and Prime was not. And that's almost as easy as the goal as yeah. you can get for for St. Edwards. That's something they need to clean up. Yeah, all tied up. Only 40 seconds in. And again, it felt like a lifetime. <laughs> Dino now going to try to get a double on this. What an angle, but what a save from Amarok. Wall now a little out of position. He still makes the save, though. Gets faked out by Moist Tuna. Prime now with the challenge. It's going to get past Dino. Prime's going to stay on, get the 50. It's going to come out to the middle. Dino and Amarok come together, but Amarok wins it. Dumps it in the corner. Now Amarok and Wall both there. ACU's going to retain possession. It's going to bounce out of here. Amarok with the touch. Followed up by Wall a little too slow. Mall is on the ball now, but Prime's there immediately. Moist Tuna, low boost. Going to dump it off to Dino, who's full. Now he can do some stuff from here. And he's going to go for a double, and that's, oh, that's clinical. Damn. Dino just showing his mechanics here. Full boost on the wall. That's dangerous from anyone. He just gets the touch, gets upside down, and no one up for it for ACU. And that's his strength. His strength is to go one-on-one -on -one in the mechanics. Down by one. Here we go. But there's still a lot of time left. Yeah, 3-2 St. Edwards. Uh, three minutes, 30 seconds. Still got time. Uh, it's anybody's game, really, at this point. But ACU still on the defensive. Gets uh, Prime gets the save there against Mala. Ball's going to be up. Dino with a shot straight down. Prime not quite clear, but does get enough of, on it to make the save. Wall tries to... Tries to clean up, low boost, gets 50, prime now, taking it up the side. Also low boost. Uh, ACU s seems to have been struggling for boost uh, while they've been in their defensive half, but right now, they're uh, starting to get their feet a little bit more under them. Uh, as Amarok dumps it in, Mala's gonna be there for the pass. Good save right there from yeah, Prime. Yeah, good save. From, good shot from Moist Tuna though. Amarok now. 50s with Mala. Shot from Moist. Can't quite make it. Dino gets the touch, but not hard enough. Wall's there to cut it out. Not looking for the bump. He gets it. Wall gets a bump on Moist now. And Prime misses the ball. Amrock's going to be there to clean it up, however. St. Edwards. Sort of a sort of a kickball game going on right now. No real passing from either team. Yeah, we saw this last game, too. But here, going to go into the final two minutes. And Moist Tuna... Punches it in for St. Edwards, giving them a 4-2 lead. Now they kind of broke that slow pace type game. Wall sending it back out. Moist Tuna just taking advantage of the opportunity. Yeah, Wall sitting there waiting for the ball. He gets the touch, but not quite the one he wants and gets bumped out. No one there for ACU to finish or to block that. Still got two minutes, 15 seconds left. Two goals down. Uh, ACU, of course, is winning 1-0 in the series. So Amarok now on the sidewall. Wall. Trying to take control. Looks like he's going to be beat by Mala. He's going to challenge from the ceiling, but not be anywhere close. Moist now with a touch off the wall. Amarok's there. Clean, wins it cleanly. It is an open net for ACU, and nice. they get one back. 153 left, 3-4. to four. And one of the biggest strengths of this ACU team all season long, Bear, has been their response to adversity, whether it's down by two, down by three, or even down by one. Just using that clock management to their advantage because they've got a lot of time left. See if they can tie up this game here against St. Edwards. And Amarok's going to win this kickoff. He might be able to get another touch. He goes for the bump instead. Now Prime high off the backboard. There's two St. Edwards players up for it. Prime now with the flip. Can't quite get it. 
Uh, call it a fake. Wall goes for the shot. Can't get it. Moist now with a touch high. Amarok already up. Gets the touch. We'll have a clean another second touch. Dino there to cut it out, however. St. Edwards with possession. Over one. Mala now looking towards the middle. He's going to fake it. Moist Tuna with a touch. And this is going to be awkward for Amarok. And he just lobs it right back up to Moist Tuna. Another two goal lead for St. Edwards. It's like right there, Amarok was like in a helpless position because, I mean, are you covering up front, covering up back, and then Moist Tuna just takes advantage of that of that type of spacing on the offensive end. Down by two, ACU and minute 20 left. Yeah, ACU looking a little more sloppy this game. A few more backflips, a uh, few rotational errors. Um, hopefully they can clean that up as Wall makes a save on a banger of a shot from St. Edwards. Well, now lobs it up to the middle. Moist is going to be called out by Mal called off by Mala. Amrog with a dangerous touch yeah. across, but he cleans it up, gets it over to Wall. Wall now with a backflip. It's going to go off the post, and Dino's there to finish it. it looks like all St. Edwards this game. It does, and like you said, Bear, you really want to highlight ACU's defensive lapses and just really the miscommunication about not being there towards the goal because about like three, four of St. Edward's goals have just been wide open. If you can fix that in the next game or maybe here in the final seconds, you'll be golden. Yeah, we look like we're a little bit on the back foot at the moment. We need to really uh, flip the tables, flip the script here. Uh, Prime, he's going to fake that. Gonna fall the wall. He's gonna try to take it up to the side, but gets a weird flip. Ends up getting a bump on Moist, uh, but no one there to follow up. And St. Edwards just putting on a clinic right now. 7-3, 37 seconds left. ACU, I think. I think you just call this one done. Uh, move on to the next one. Uh, you know, tie series. Uh, turn it into a best of three. So. Yeah, and you, and you expect going up against the St. Edwards team, you can't really expect an easy-going game where you go up 2-0. you got to expect that fight every single possession, and they've shown that far, like you said, putting on an offensive clinic. 30 seconds remaining, ACU down by 4-7-3. I think it's safe to say to go ahead and fix your mind out into the next game in Game 3. Yeah, this series as a whole is going to test ACU's mental toughness. Um, you know, we've, we've sort of str struggled against stronger teams in the past um, which is one of the reasons I was so impressed with our first game is that we played so well. Um, this one's looking a little more uh, on par to what we're sort of used to uh, but with the glimpses of hope in that first game you can only imagine what would happen if we keep that together as as St. Edwards puts it down uh, confirms the win for game two so series 1-1 one, one, best of five both teams need just two more wins to move on and uh whew. yeah yeah that's like the like whew, like yeah like that's what's going on again the intensity is still continuing you can feel the pressure you can feel the momentum from both sides you said something great that i want to talk about bear is that acu in game one i mean they looked ecstatic they looked like elite like very elite i'm talking about like goat status but it's the question is can they keep that up consistency is key consistency is how you're going to walk away with the victory and go forward into these uh type of future tournaments but here in game three let's see if they can kind of just shake it off wake up and we might see another high scoring affair here in game three yeah major key this game once st edwards got that uh got those passing plays down for acu the major key is going to be be cutting out those passes uh, just be aware. I know that they're going to probably look for them. And uh, usually on defense, you'll guard the goal rather than the pass. But uh, in this game, it's going to be important to guard the pass. It also guard the goal, though, because Dino's there with a shot. Uh, ACU, again, just sort of got caught out on rotation. Uh, not good enough clears. They're, going, they're clearing to the middle. And you never really want to clear to the middle uh, on defense, especially against a team like St. Edwards. Yeah, because it seems like they're using their angles pretty well. It seems like they're a 4.0 GPS student in geometry right now. ACU has got to clean that up, and you especially don't want to have a, a big deficit here early. For sure. Mala with a technical save on Wall's touch into the corner. Amarok goes high. Prime now lobbing it downfield. Dino's already up for it. Goes one touch off the ceiling, gets another, but it's going to fall to Wall. Wall gets a soft touch over to the middle. Amrog now backwards. He flicks it over Moist. And that's a double commit from St. Edwards. ACU needs to get on this, but they can't. 
Capitalizing on those errors is the key. They did that in game one, have lost it since. St. Edwards with the clear down into the corner. Prime with a massive clear all the way back into the St. Edwards corner. And I, I, I'm wanting to see a little more control out of ACU right now. Uh, I want to see these passing plays come together, uh, create those opportunities, create those chances for goals. Because right now you're down one, you've got three minutes, 43 seconds left. You just got to put it together, got to hit the ball uh, to start off with. <laughs> Moist is going to do that as he puts it downfield. Prime with another clear downfield, zero boost though. Dino with a touch. Wall just a soft touch over towards goal. Mala's going to get it over Amrock. Amrock's going to be caught out as third man. That's going to be 2-0. Those are the type of defensive breakdowns from ACU that we've been talking about so far here in games one and two. St. Edwards, they are so disciplined and so mature and so well experienced that they're going to capitalize on those opportunities. Still a lot of time for ACU left to get things together. Let's see how they respond. going to respond with a couple 50s off of the kickoff. Emrock now off the sidewall. Prime and Wall both go. Emrock no longer back, but Prime's going to... Clean that up as Amarok spawns below him. Now Prime with a pass over to Amarok, but Maul is already up. The speed from St. Edwards starting to uh, show here in game three. And there's another passing play. Lucky for ACU yeah. right there. The Moist missed that. Good flick there from Amarok. Can't quite get the dunk, though. Maul is there with the save. Wall now up high. Maul is still there with the touch. Maul's defense has been on point. And so has Dino. Uh, this whole St. Edwards team, they are just... They're good. They've got dogs. They've got dogs. Uh, and right now, Wall <laughs> gets demoed off the flick. Can't quite get back to it. Amarok, 50'd out by Dino. It's going to fall to Wall, however. He's going to put it over to Prime. But Prime, 50'd out by Moistuna. St. Edwards seems like they're all over the field. Amarok yeah. with a 50. I mean, it seems like they got their head on the swivel like two times. I mean, it is insane what's going on right now. Yeah, ACU. Just opting to take it a little slower right here. Wall tries to go over one, but gets bumped out. Prime now, back in his own corner. Think about that one and get a 50. Going to fall to Wall. Wall, take possession. Moist Tuna, though, with a possible clear. Good bump by Wall. That's going to open up a possibility for Amarok. But, man, Mall is there again. Prime now. Prime and Wall both going for it. Amarok with a good demo. Wall's going to be open for a pass here. Wall tries to find him. Now back to Prime. Passes a little off. Prime now zero boost. Gets beat by Dino on the wall. Wall with the touch over the corner. Can't probably follow it up. Moist Tuna there. Dino with a demo on Prime. This could be an open net. And it is, technically, for Dino. ACU just unable to get their feet under them. Yeah, right now it is not looking good for ACU. Minute 24, you really got to make something happen and happen fast. Talking about St. Edwards players real quick, Dino, what a game he's been having in these first three games so far. I mean, just speaks, like you said, just speaks to the greatness of the St. Edwards roster. Yeah, they're just, I mean, they're having a, themselves a game. And ACU, uh, need to put, throw some Band-Aids on real quick, uh, fix themselves up. Still got a minute left in this game three. Um, series tied, 1-1 one, one still. So running out of time here for ACU in this third game. Gotta but there's an opportunity here. What an opportunity there for Amarok. Can't quite get the shot to fall in. That would have been a highlight for sure. A little bit of pressure here, but now they're going to pull off. Amarok's going to allow Dino to flip. Seems like they're playing a little more slow right kind of. Fixing their minds and, and their attitudes in the next game. Yeah, hopefully. Prime up, misses Moist there. Gets it around Amarok, but Amarok's going to take control. He's going to stay on it. Moist smart there to wait, not get baited in. Mala now tries to 50 wall. Wall's going to get over him, get over two. Can't quite get it over the third one as Moist Tuna comes in and disrupts the play. Amarok now out to Prime. Prime. High off the backboard, Maul is there. Dino up, but can't get the touch. Wall's going to. It's gonna fall to Amrock. Amrock might have a shot. He's gonna put it high though. Try to get the read, but Maul once again just <laughs> shutting down the ACU attack. Maul is insane. Well, here 
St. Edward's taking a 2-1 series lead. The first two games, we saw high-scoring affairs from both teams. I mean, we highlighted Dino from St. Edward's and Wall's defense. And really, everyone was getting, you know, sharing the sugar, as, as we like to say, and getting involved. But right now, Game 3 was all St. Edward's. I mean, they really put their foot on the gas pedal, and they really showed ACU that they are ready to walk away with a victory. One more win away for St. Edward's, and they can walk away with a victory. Yeah, it felt like all St. Edward's, but the stats really show, like, it was not all St. Edward's. It was, it not. was uh, Prime's four saves right yeah, there. Yeah, ACU just having uh, one less shot, so having six instead of seven shots, uh, it was really just Mala and Dino's defense that just kept us out, yeah. and Prime's four saves, unable uh, to get seven. If he could have gotten seven, we'd be in yeah. OT. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's those missed opportunities, uh, Bear, that is really killing ACU. Hopefully they can kind of capitalize on those things and, and find more opportunities to score. Here in game four, they cannot afford to lose. Yeah, series uh, count is 1-2 for St. Edwards. St. Edwards just needs one more. ACU got to win two in a row to make it through. Prime now up high. Can't quite get the follow. Dinah's there. Wall now. Tries to 50 Mala. Gets a bump instead. Amrock's going to be moist to this. Unable to challenge again as Mala's taking it off the backboard. Wall there. High off the backboard. Oh, There's a, a chance. Nah. And now ACU's caught out. ACU just sort of overcommitting a little bit uh, with third. Um, it's just luckily not getting punished that time. Prime tries to go for the double off the sidewall, can't do it. Dino high off the backboard. Amarok gets a touch. Mala's going to be waiting patiently for it. Low boost is going to miss the corner. Dino's going to get the demo. St. Edwards, almost a mistake there. Moist Tuna there to see it out and clear it. Amarok now up to Prime. Prime with the touch back down, but Amarok's going to get beat. Actually, Wall's going to 50. And Mala beat out by Amarok. ACU started turning up the speed a little bit, turning up the aggression, but there's a demo out of Dino on wall. First game tonight that we haven't seen a score here <laughs> in the first minute, already 3.30 remaining, and right now still goose eggs for both teams. Yeah, you might have jinxed that. Oh, what a touch from Amarok there to get it past Hopefully uh, I Dino. jinxed it in, in favor of ACU. Maybe not. Yeah, uh, it doesn't look like it. It yeah, does not Mala's, look like <laughs> Mala's going to put that in. Amarok is going to be credited with the save, but Mala's going to make sure he pushes it past we talk about acu's involvement and how that is when they get everyone involved they look unbeatable but well, the same goes for st edwards because they are just as good and everyone is scoring and right leaning on dino's leadership but acu still got enough time to respond only down by one cannot lose oh amrock amrock with the oh, almost another highlight play wow. he's pulling out all the stops tonight but just can't quite get them to fall Wall now, up high. Forces Mala into a bit of a bad touch. Amrock's going to 50. Get 50 out by Moist Tuna. Wall cutting across. Good touch there. Mala disrupting it. Wall now back across the field the other way. Dino's going to be up for that one. He's not going to be able to get the second touch. It's going to fall to Amrock. Amrock seems to be low boost, just flicks it away. And Dino trying to take possession. Gets 50 out by Prime. It's going to fall to the ACU's right defensive corner. Wall trying to cut it out. Prime with a save. That was looking for the back post. Emrock now with a chance. Can't quite get it. Goes for the flip reset. Wall trying to fake. Gets a good 50. Moist Tuna high off the backboard. He's going to recover, but not in time. Prime's there. He drops it down to Emrock. Emrock to the left go. post. 1-1. One, one, 217 left. And there's the score and opportunities for Emrock right there. He's had all the moves. He's had all the highlights so far. Now he finally put some points on the board for his ACU team. Two minutes remaining. Tied at one. We got a ball game. What a pass from Prime there to look infield down low. SEU was not expecting that. And ACU, they're going to need more of those. And here's Amarok just monkeying around again. Just trying to force it, uh, St. Edwards into some awkward situations. Uh, speaking of awkward, there's an awkward bounce. Yeah. Uh, Prime's going to read it, though. Mala now, 50 out. That looks like it might be on. Amarok's there to cut it out. St. Edward's turning up the heat here in the back half of the game four. Tied 1-1. Prime's going to get beat out by Mala. Mala just 
throwing it in. Amarok with a missed touch on that top corner. And, you know, uh, last time uh, we were streaming, that was ACU's downfall. And what a fake just to open up the goal for Mala, or for Dino, my bad. Uh, Moist goes up. Yeah, no intentions of hitting that. And Wall and Amarok both bite, leaving the goal open. 2-1, 1 minute 33 left. Still a chance. Still a chance. Gotta Dino's had his way all night. Uh, they really just got to clean that up. The double commits, like you said, fair. Can't afford to do that. Minute 30. Here we go. Yeah, good challenge there. Mala on the backboard, as always. Amarok with the touch. Mala again there. Prime up high. It's going to be almost red, but stuffed out by Dino. A missed touch there from St. Edwards, but it's not going to amount to anything for ACU. ACU just opting to let that drop. No challenges. That one's going to hit the post and come out. Amarok now on the ball. Goes for the 50. Doesn't quite win that. It's going to fall back to Prime. Prime now pinches it on the wall. Gets another follow-up 50 against Mala. Now Dino going into the corner. Wall's going to be there. He followed it up. He can. Amarok with a demo on Mala. But... St. Edwards, even with 2v3, they is still really going to... putting the pressure on, on ACU. Yeah. Moist unit lobbing it up in the air. Mala's going to be there with a pass down, but no one there for St. Edwards. Dino now off the sidewall. ACU just not able to find any traction here in the final seconds of this game. A chance here. It's going to go up high. Get snuffed seconds. Out. Time's running out for ACU. Amarok with a touch. Prime's going to take control. Amarok dead. Wall. Off the wall. Good clear there from Mala. It's going to go off to the side, but Amarok's going to be there. It's going to go off the corner. Bounce up awkwardly. Mala's going to cut it out. One second. Got to keep it up, and that's going to be it. Uh, that's going to do it. Uh, series of 3-1 for St. Edwards. Um, yeah. ACU just... Yeah. Unable to carry that momentum from the first game into the others. Um, this game, much better than the second and third. Second and third, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, just still no answer. And they improved from the regular season game against St. Against Edwards, where it was some close battles. Kind of saw that tonight as well. And really, Bear, that's the million-dollar question right now in this post game is what happened to ACU after game one? I mean, they proved that they can beat this team, but now it's about consistency. Now it's about, like, finding that type of momentum, that type of mindset, and carrying it over so you can walk away with series victories, whether it's 3-1, 3-2, or whatever. But GG's to both teams. I mean, you could feel the intensity. Made me excited, and, and you know, it's great. And I'm new to this Rocket League stuff, so... It's awesome. Oh, yeah. And I, like you said, it's, uh, what could ACU do? Um, I think it's more more so what did St. Edwards do um, to change it up? Because I think St. Edwards came in that first game thinking it was going to be an easy 3-0 uh, sweep. Yeah. Uh, but ACU came out firing. They came out fast. Uh, after that first game, and, you know, uh, St. Edwards started or tried to bring it back, scored yeah. a couple goals in that first game. Uh, but ACU just unable to quite, like, hold on or continue to maintain that speed and that pressure. Uh, St. Edwards just keeping it together. And looks like, yeah. I think I was, they're just messing I was, around. I was trying to pay attention to the to see what's going on here in the pregame lobby. For those of you that can't see it right now, it seems like ACU and St. Edwards are hopping into another game. Although, I don't think it's a best of seven. Because it did say best of five on the game Jumbotron and on the scoreboard. I'm pretty sure it's a best of five. So this has to be. So this has to I'm be very confused. a just an expedition game. Because if it's best of seven, then exhibition. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's been a long day, so, you know, the pronunciation <laughs> has is there. Hey, I'm taking an announcing class next semester, so it'll, oh, okay, it'll okay, be good. Okay. It, yeah, it'll yeah. help out with the pronunciation and all that. But, um, yeah, so <laughs> I... I just call you so, out. No, no, you're good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just kind of really confused what's going on right now because, like, after that game, you know, you have that mindset and you talk about how, oh, Lacey's nay season's over. 
And now it's like, is it continuing? And if so, well, they still can't lose because if it's best of seven, St. Saint, Saint Ed's is up 3-1, you still can't lose. You're going to have to come back down 3-1, which would be an awesome story. I love coming back from 3-1. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> I, I just texted our coach to see if this is just a scrim, just for fun, playing around. I hope it is because, well, y'all aren't seeing it. Yeah. Um, but uh, ACU's up by 10 in the first minute. Oh, it's a best of seven. Oh, this is oh, an actual wow. game. Okay. Never mind. Right. We didn't know. We're okay. unprepared. Okay. Best of seven. Uh, it is <laughs> 02 <laughs> um, ACU. Um, well, everything that we've already said okay. still applies. I did not know this was a best of seven, but it is. Um, all right. Well, ACU still, <laughs> still. Time to refocus. All right. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back to the stream, guys. Yeah. Here we go. Game Mo seven. <laughs> Moist tuna best over. Seven. <laughs> Moist tuna over to Dino. Dino's gonna uh, knock it down to Mala. Mala now into the corner gets a touch over. Moist there high. Prime, over one, one to beat. Walls up. Gets beat out by Mala. Dino now back to the middle. Amarok going to 50 with Mala. Ends up winning that. Wall's going to touch it into the corner. Moist with time. No boost, though. Gets a touchdown to Mala. That's going to be a shot. And saved by Wall. Closer than originally uh, than I thought. This one it's going to sneak in. There we go, Amarok. Yeah. I think for ACU right now, especially the last game, he's had like three straight goals. He's really been the offensive player and the offensive firepower for this ACU team. It's really just going to come down to stops. You're going to need that right now. If you want to make that best of seven, come back. Three minutes remaining against St. Ed's. I'm still trying to recover from this being a best of seven, not a best of five. I thought we were having just some some fun uh, yeah i thought it was uh after the game uh, activities and that is not the case this is serious uh <laughs> and mala with a little double touch top up double touch off the ground <laughs> i guess we're both having some Man, little, little uh, word pronunciation. My, my mind completely <laughs> went off of casting mode after that last game yeah because i was not prepared uh but anyway while zero boost just gonna clear it up high uh, buy his team a little bit of time. Prime going to do the same. Except this one's going to be a pass to Amrock. Amrock unable to touch it. Prime with a 50 on Dino. Wall now with a free touch on the wall. He's going to put it all the way across. Prime beat out by Moistuna. Amrock opting to stay back and let Mala just dump it in. Amrock now with control. Good 50 there. But both he and Wall go for that ball. Mala with a pass down to Dino. Dino lobs it over Prime, and I don't know if Prime knew that no I one was behind I think that was him. just a nice little lob, and, like, just hearing the splash after effect was the little cherry on top. Just yeah, right. so like a three-pointer. Oh. Yeah, a little, <laughs> a little Steph Curry just splash. Clay yeah. Thompson, St. Ed's with a 3-1 lead, heading into the final two minutes. ACU has got to find the answers. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it. Moist Tuna off the ceiling. Going to get a pinch, but Wall's going to cut it out. It's going to roll all the way across. And get pinched back down by Mala. Prime now with a touch. Over to Dino. Uh, unintentionally. Dino now pinches it across. Mala just a little too slow to get there. Could have put the nail in the coffin for ACU. St. Edwards now still with possession. Moist tries to 50. Ends up getting a bump on Prime. Amrock beat out by Dino. St. Edward's just so much faster right now. And their spacing seems. is just so much wider, and they can really let their guys do what they need to do and kind of pick apart this ACU defense. We're seeing that right now, giving them a 4-1 lead, heading into the final minute and 28 seconds. Down by three, ACU. Now we're in that win or go home type of scenario where they need to win this game to extend the series because it is best of seven. But right now, nah. St. Edwards is really capping on their momentum and really don't is really trying to avoid an ACU comeback. Yeah, that's a that's a good shot from Mala there. Um, just ACU not really in position to defend that. It's not usually where you would take a shot from, but it works. <laughs> uh, but. Here's a chance. Nah, unable. Mala is still there. Mala, Mala is. Mala and Dino. They both. Uh, I think it was Mala. And, Mala and Dino. They're rival series 
uh, Challengers, um, which for those of you who don't know, uh, the Rival series was, uh, I'd say, well, there's the RLCS, which is the major Rocket League, like professional league. Um, the RLRS uh, was the Rocket League Rival series. That was, uh, I'd say, the semi-pro league. So Dino and Mala, they've been, they've been a part of some good teams. Um, it's just unfortunate that they are uh, currently attending a university because then we have to deal with them. Yeah. <laughs> and as you have seen, it's been hard to deal with them because they do have that uh, semi-professional sort of professional uh, level of gameplay that you don't really see against a whole lot of other teams that we play. Basically, they're pro bowlers and all-stars in the NBA and MLB. I mean, that's, that's the type of resume that they have. Final, heading into the final 10 seconds, safe to say, St. Edwards is going to be finish, finishing off this series, this best of seven series, 4-1 against the ACU Wildcats. What a series, what a game here, and that was about to go in, but, you know, time just ran out right there. St. Edwards taking the series 4-1 to send ACU home officially this time. Now we know it's a best of seven. There's no such thing as yeah. anything else, not that we're aware of. I don't uh, you know, that's not possible. But, Bear, what are some of your uh, closing thoughts as um, this season wraps up? Well, first, just uh, GG's and good luck to St. Edwards in the playoffs. Um, uh, ACU, we've got we've got room to grow. Yeah, uh, Still a good amount of young players, uh, so still plenty of time to learn, and especially uh, implementing Amarok on the roster. They're still trying to figure out, you know, the rotations, yeah. the communication, you know, and you can you can see the mistakes sort of popping up here and there, um, but plenty of time to clean that up. Um, we are not in panic mode. Yep, uh, that's for sure. But with winter break coming up, um, you know, that's a lot of time to practice, a lot of time to work on work on your craft, hone your craft, and uh, that's what that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna, you know. Sit on our computers during the winter. Hopefully, we get a <laughs> few snowstorms here yeah. and there. A little uh, class cancellation. Yeah, little, keep us from going outside. Yeah. Force us <laughs> to stay indoors. Um, yeah, just keep grinding. Come back, and I, I feel like eventually, eventually, we can take a series on on St. Edwards. Uh, like I said, a very promising start. Yeah. Uh, but then St. Edwards showed us why why they're number two in the in they the did. conference. So I couldn't have sent it any better bear i mean some of the positives i mean there's a lot of positives for this acu team i mean now that you improve from the regular season against st edwards taking a game off of st edwards and if you can really find that and really just continue to work on that like you said during the breaks and during the off season so to say i mean that'd be great because you guys do have that work ethic you guys have that mentality and just kind of cultivating amarok in who you guys bring in someone during the season and for you sports fans out there as you know Know that if any team brings in a guy out there midseason, it is kind of hard to kind of get him into the offense, get him into the defense, and, and to the type of the matchups and the culture of the team. But this ACU team is only going to grow, it's only going to get better, and I'm excited to see it for uh, the rest of the time of my college career. And uh, it's been fun uh, broadcasting with you here for this NACE series, and hope you guys at home and wherever you're at enjoyed it. Yeah, couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> uh, Thanks, man. Well, here we go, ACU going home, and good luck and GGs to St. Edwards as they advance into the playing tournaments and so on and so forth. And let's see what ends up happening. Just make always remember, ACU is always going to work hard, and they will be back soon. Joseph Chapa and Bear signing off. Hope you guys have a good night, and go Wildcats. Go Wildcats.